Sam King here from King Agricultural. G'day there, it's Sam King from King Agricultural and today's been a shocking day for weather but all of a sudden the sun's come out um, just so that I can show you this new model. It's a manual geared cedar and um, some of you may have seen them before or something similar. So you may have seen people using cedars like this on some episodes in country calendar. There's been two or three of them so far. And there are people like Curtis Stone and others like him around the world that are advocating that you know you can on just even in your backyard or in a few different plots of land here and there you can actually make a good living um, of just growing yourself or maybe one or two other people with you and make good money out of, of um, selling the produce from that or even sharing it amongst your community. The main reason what makes these such a you know the word game changer is um, that instead of just going through and popping you know, individual seeds in um, you can just run this thing along seeds go on here it goes through a pickup and delivery system so that it delivers seeds how far you want them apart whether it's right as close as two centimeters apart or right up to half a meter apart anything in between and there are adjustments that on this machine um, where you can determine that distance and you know as fast as you walk it just lays those seeds down and there are some other fairly inexpensive machines that you can buy too that um, bring down the harvesting time and that really makes the difference between whether you labor on you know gr trying to grow stuff and still getting you know hardly making ends meet out of it but with a few things like this game changers you know um, that sort of makes that can make uh, growing food um, quite a profitable thing basically you know once you've prepared a line of soil to go through and um, pop, pop the pop a line of seeds down. It's just you just roll this thing like a scooter. You know, basically as fast as you can walk, it'll lay those seeds down. Because the seeds just simply pop in the top of here, and um, then you've got a uh, a disc inside there which picks those um, seeds up and delivers it through the bottom. And um, with our geared system, which is a little bit like a bike. You can change gears on here and the amount of holes in the disc to determine whether your seeds are any distance from say like two centimeters apart right up to half a meter apart that's how versatile it is this one does look a bit different than some of the other ones that you've seen the two main ones would be the jang cedar and there are a lot of copies and you often don't know whether um, it's a genuine jang or a genuine copy but sometimes some of the copies are better than the jang and sometimes jang, one jang can be different to another because um, all of those manufacturers they only make one or two parts themselves and the rest they get from here or there and they keep on changing around I was selling the K100 but the quality control on the K100 was a lot better especially with things like the rollers, the quality of rollers and the, and the pickup and delivery system. The first thing that I did before um, you know, becoming interested in helping people out in New Zealand um, you know, get into this industry is I imported um, from four different suppliers and I found you know, the parts quality and how they fit and how they operate varies quite a lot from rollers that pick up the seeds really nicely to some that just sort of cut seeds off sort of thing. This one here is by far better than all of them. Uh, what we've retained from the K100 is that the seed pickup and delivery system again is probably the best that you'll see anywhere. The way in which it picks up and delivers seed is very smooth. If you compare the framework of this to those other models that's where you see another big difference and it's a bit like comparing a say like a 1973 Corolla where sometimes the door closes but you might have to sort of twist the car a bit before it can close properly um, and, the, and then looking at a Formula One or, or a McLaren and this is what makes it similar to a Formula One or a McLaren is that the main chassis system is all in one so it's not a few different bits of um, flat steel which can bend and twist and go out of shape if you sort of lean on it the wrong way um, so it's lighter it stays in shape better and it's just performs better as it's going along but I will admit that this part here it won't change how well your um, seeds will grow it'll just mean that you know the, the um, using it and maybe the length of life that this will last because it's plastic it's not going to rust the main chassis of it's just going to stay together and it holds everything in place it means that everything's going to you know work um, a bit more reliably and not go out of alignment 
well seen as you're there and I'm here and there's a camera and all this gear what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put together all of the parts for just one of these machines and then you'll see how um, easy it is for it to um, go together there are less parts because of this you know composite um, framework there are less parts than some of those earlier models I've only put that one together so far so here's the second one I've ever done and I'll pretend I'm just like you and I'll pretend I've forgotten how to do that one so it would be easier if I only had the parts for one because then I'd probably get mixed up but anyway here we go so obviously that's the machine and you need a handle so you think which way is it going obviously that's the back of the machine because the handle is going to go up there so and that's going to be there it's not going to be that way is it that's where the bolts are these are 13 millimeter things and I've just found that my little wee Husqvarna um, plug spanner does the trick good thing about this too is that now when you see details like this you know they've put some care into it it's not just some quick thing chucked together in a factory um, so those are metal inserts there so you're not going to end up with have a problem of sort of stripping the thread in the plastic there it's quite good to know and you see them taking effort like that it's more likely they've made a good job of inside here because I know some of the models that I bought um, Jang and Jang copy before some of them the, the, um, the components in there were not machined very well at all and put together even worse uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on first you can see there that goes in there like that um, there are no holes on that side so and then they go right through okay so I'm just gonna I've got a rubber hammer here you can use a we can just use a lump of water or something and there are obviously two screws to go in there so I'll find some when you're pulling one of these off me um, it comes with one free disc but we stock all of the different disc types and no other supplier anywhere in the world has a guide that's as good as ours we put that together ourselves so got any questions about you know what discs should I buy for what you're growing just read that a couple of times and you'll get it here we go check that on there as always I have to stand in a awkward position so that you can see but so theoretically you should be able to put together this quicker than me and that is just about it oh we've still got to put the hopper in factory's working hard to sort of keep up with um, you know especially with COVID there's been an increasing demand of these all around the world uh, and already um, some of these are already sold this particular one here is I've got a Dillett send it off um, tonight That's this is going to the Pitcairn Islands and I've already ordered the next lot that are on the way but yeah if you're unsure whether I've got them in stock or whether they're on the way um, feel free to um, send us a query in the comments or something now what you've got here this is the hopper that goes in there so opens up like that and the seeds go on the top easy as um, there are a few different ways in which you can determine which is the correct size seed so um, these are like half spheres that are indented into the top and they go right from should be 13 millimeters right down to uh, the smallest ones about two millimeter so you can sort of put some seeds in here jiggle them the hole that it fits inside so there's a bit of, of space around the edge um, that's probably the um, type of roller size that you want to go for and there are other ways of determining which um, size disc you should choose as well and that's on the guide on our website so seeds go in here that pops back in the top and um, that goes in there you've got to make sure it's sitting in there properly and the heel goes in first you pull it back and that goes into there easily 
if it goes in easily you're doing it right if you're trying to push this down hard there's something wrong it means that you haven't got that sitting inside there properly there's a guide there so it's got to sit inside there properly and you've got to pull that back and that should you can see that thing just goes in there if you're doing it wrong you could break one of those things off which means you've got to buy another one of those or you could MacGyver it and stick a bit of pin or metal pin and something in there um, aerodited in either way so that's how it goes it goes in there easy once you've done it a few times you can do it without thinking um, inside here though is missing a cog let's put that in there okay so that goes there like that so we've got to think does it go that way no it goes that way goes through there and there'll be a disc in the middle um, it goes in there it goes down and you've just got to make sure that these teeth um, go inside there's a gear in there like a, a chain and some of the Jang models are actually quite hard to align with the chain but this one goes in pretty easy look at that let's put a seed roller inside here so this is a fairly medium size um, disc it's got 24 holes on it um, which means it has the potential to drop seeds a lot closer than a roller that might only have say 12 or 6 holes in it some obviously some vegetables you want them spaced far away like big cabbages and then when you've got literally things like rocket and stuff and microgreens you want them as close as you possibly can so this is an F24 and the whole size is sort of five millimeters five millimeters diameter for that so which would see, suit seeds that are around about three and a half four millimeters um, diameter that type of thing so here we go let's pull that out so there we go here's a Prince Charlie wing nut what that does is it takes out the throat block here um, and that has a furry block there what that does is as the seed pushes down here it gives it a smooth delivery as it falls down um, and less likely to choke up and you know sort of jiggle around and or get caught so it gives a nice uh, smooth delivery out of there it's also got a, um, a brush so before the seed passes there if, if, if you can imagine the seeds gets picked up in these holes and then um, there's a certain, there's just the right amount of pressure of this brush against there and it brushes off excess seeds that's preset inside the hopper at the right place however um, occasionally you might just find where if you're growing something and when you want only one seed coming through each time and not two and you know that your seed sizes are quite uniform um, and sometimes two are coming you can actually adjust the, adjust the um, position of how close that is um, to fine-tune how um, it sweeps off the excess seeds but most people don't worry about that because you've got an extra seed down the hole it's no big deal so um, all right here we go now when you're putting this together you don't have to put it in twice you sit it like this so you make sure you've got the gear on the right side of it not on that side because you know the, the chains here so it's got to be there like that so okay so that's got to go through there like that okay and here's it's got to go there and then this thing has got to be in that position so here we go we pop that there like that that goes up there and you can see that the seed roller has a flap spot and so does the cog so that's coming from the correct side and the, the flat bits around there I'll turn that to there and I just jiggle it jiggle things around a bit sometimes find if it's better if the flat bit is on the bottom okay so just jiggle things around a bit until you've got it check that's why it's going in cog fits into the, um, the chain there and everything else is in the right spot and then we've just got to don't forget um, do up the Prince Charlie wing nut otherwise it's all gonna fall out and there we go now what you'll find too 
is you've got one on a spare of those and they fit into there like that, little wee circlip. Um, but you actually don't need those because they do fit in there pretty good. Especially if you're, if you're taking these in and out quite a bit and changing um, your disc, you don't really need those because they just sort of sit there nicely anyway. So there we go, we've chosen an F24 disc. Put some seeds in and start seeding. Um, one thing I'll, I'll mention as well about these um, these rollers and if you've got a jang or other type of cedar that looks anything like this it's probably going to fit these discs that we sell and it could turn your uh, machine that could be underperforming into um, a seed machine that performs a lot better just by having quality discs and if you look at them really close up you'll see they are precision, they're not sharp on the edges of those holes which can tend to break some kind of seeds and also quite importantly it's anti-static especially when you've just got a few seeds like some people you know want to they might run a whole paddock full of uh, one thing but then they want to you know they've just bought a few sachets you know for themselves and they just want to put like a half a pack of the seeds in here just do like half a run and th that means they're all going to pick up each seed is going to pick up even right down to the last seed it'll pick up and go through there and it's not going to jump up all around here some seeds don't some seeds do some seeds are prone to um, you know when you've got plastic like this like and with movement of uh, nylon parts if they're not um, properly anti-static then those seeds can jump up and sit on the edge of, of um, the hopper there so um, good quality discs are a key and while we're here I wish I had time to make a much fancier video but I know that a lot of people have been asking about these and waiting for them too um, so I'm just making a quick one so have a look around here so you look at um, the side here it's a chart for working out you know how far apart you want your veggies to grow so you know where you're going to drop in the seeds three main things that determine um, how far your seeds are spaced when they drop down one of them is how close these holes are here which is um, how many holes are on the whole thing some discs have six some 12 um, some 24 and we've even got one our manufacturers made especially for New Zealand growers that's an X30 so for super close spacings right down to two centimeters apart so looking at this chart you can see the closest spacing you can have a seed is at two centimeters apart right down there on the corner there going right up to the here 51 centimeters apart now to achieve that 51 centimeters you would have to have a roller that has only three holes in the hot in the in the disc and you would have to have a gearing combination of 14 and nine right down to here if you wanted to have um, seeds drop two centimeters apart you would have to have um, a disc that has 30 holes in it and up here you'd have to have a gear combination of 9 and 14 so let's see what that means it's so if you think about an, um, a bike so you're changing gears on a bike you've got an 18 speed bike and you've got a gear gears on the back and on the front so and this is basically how we change gears wow look at that that there just the way this is put together and the quality of this chain also the quality of these things here um, is much better than any of these manual geared cedars I've seen from a distance they might all look the same but this is good okay so what you'll notice is that on here um, I think that's an 11 gear 11 geared cog and that's an 11 geared cog that's the most um, popular combination that people use and because like if you notice here in the yellow that column down there 11 11 that's an 11 to 11 gear ratio some people don't like changing these cogs too often they find it a hassle but it actually doesn't take very long if you're used to it 
but if you want to change with the 11 gear rule then those are the options that you can have so when you've got a, um, a disc with three holes you get 33 uh, down to if you've got a disc with uh, 12 holes you get eight centimeters down to um, like our X30 you'd get three centimeters apart that's without having to change these two gears if you want to change the gears all you've got to do is undo that with a Phillips screwdriver this one and change the gears and just in case if you're wondering um, it, it is important like for if you had to if you're wanting this combination here and you wanted a 9 and a 14 um, they're not interchangeable if you want to achieve anything along this um, uh, column here you would have to have 9 and 14 the 9 tooth gear would have to be on the sewing gear and um, the 14 tooth gear would have to be on the driving gear they couldn't be the other way around to achieve these options here this is the driving gear and that's the sewing gear you remember that because that sewing thing there that's closer to where the seed is sewing and even though you're pushing it from the back um, this is the other end this is the this is the wheel that's doing the driving it's not driving that one it's a front wheel drive okay it's a front wheel drive machine and this is the sewing gear and that's the drive gear so there we go on the chart that's the sewing gear that's the driving gear simple as that